What were the significant events in Da Vinci's life? Isn't it great to look at photos of friends and family? It sure brings back some fun memories. Having a picture of someone you love wasn't always as easy as taking out your cell phone. Did you know that before cameras were invented, artists were paid to paint portraits of people? Some of the world's greatest artists painted portraits during their careers. Leonardo da Vinci was one of these artists. Da Vinci was born just outside of Anciano, Italy in April of 1452. This was an exciting time in Italian history. Da Vinci was born during a time period known as the Renaissance. The word Renaissance means rebirth. This period of history is known for its explosion of art, ideas, and learning. Leonardo was born to a local woman, Caterina. His father was a notary who certified legal documents. When Leonardo was about 14 years old, he was given a great opportunity. He was sent to be an apprentice to Andrea del Verrocchio, a famous painter and sculptor. Leonardo spent six years gaining technical skills in drawing and painting, as well as studying subjects like geometry and anatomy. By the time he was 20 years old, da Vinci became a member of the Guild of St. Luke and started his own workshop. Even though he had his own art studio, Leonardo continued to collaborate with his mentor, Del Verrocchio, for another five years. In 1482, Leonardo took on his first independent project. He was commissioned to paint the Adoration of the Magi for a monastery in Florence. However, the painting was never completed. In fact, throughout his life, Leonardo abandoned many of his big projects. Many thought his interests in many different subjects allowed him to become distracted or sidetracked. Let's review what we have just learned about da Vinci's early years. Question one, what does the word Renaissance mean? A, rebirth, B, new day. C, young scholar, D, none of the above. If you answered A, you know that Renaissance means rebirth. Question two, in what country was da Vinci born? A, France, B, Belgium, C, Italy, D, Spain. The correct answer is C, da Vinci was born in Italy. Question three, at what age was Da Vinci sent to be an apprentice? A, 12 years old. B, 14 years old. C, 16 years old. D, 18 years old. The correct answer is B. Da Vinci was 14 years old when he became an apprentice. What were Da Vinci's significant works? In 1482, Leonardo was given the opportunity to go to Milan to work for a young duke named Ludovico Sforza. The duke gave him a wide range of responsibilities, including painting portraits, designing sets for court festivals, and creating sculptures. The duke even asked for da Vinci's advice on city defenses and military engineering. From 1483 to 1485, Leonardo created his famous painting, The Virgin on the Rocks. It portrays Jesus as a baby with his mother Mary. This painting became a classic example of Leonardo's use of an effect called sfumato. Sfumato means smoky in Italian. The plants in the foreground of the painting are painted with great detail while the distant landscape fades away in a blue haze. This creates the smoky effect in the painting. In 1495, Leonardo began work on another big project, his mural called The Last Supper. The mural was commissioned for the dining room at the convent of Santa Maria del Glazzi in Milan and it took da Vinci more than two years to complete the project. 
The painting captures the drama of Jesus' Last Supper with his apostles, in which he foretells that one of them will betray him. Da Vinci decided to paint the scene with tempera paint on a dry plaster base. Unfortunately, the masterpiece began to fall apart within 20 years. Luckily, modern preservation techniques have stabilized the painting. In 1499, Milan was invaded by the French and Leonardo da Vinci fled to the city of Florence. There, he created what would become one of the world's most famous paintings, the Mona Lisa. No one is exactly sure of the identity of the woman in the portrait. Many researchers believe that she is Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of Francisco del Giocondo, a silk merchant in Florence. The Mona Lisa has become one of the most famous paintings in the world and is currently housed in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Da Vinci was also known for his incredible collection of sketchbooks and journals. Some drawings were sketches that were previews of his paintings, while others were closer to scientific sketches. His journal included sketches for flying machines, architectural studies, and even sketches of the human body. One famous sketch is da Vinci's Vitruvian Man drawing, which shows a male figure with perfect proportions. Many of his drawings were a result of his deeply held belief that knowledge should be based on observation. Da Vinci's talents and interests were so diverse that he became known as a Renaissance man. However, since da Vinci's notebooks were never published, his scientific ideas were not known during the Renaissance. In 1516, Leonardo left Italy after accepting an offer from King Francis I to live and paint near the Palace of Clou, a country house in France. He spent only three years in France before he died in 1519 at the age of 67. Let's review what we have learned about da Vinci's major works of art. Question one. What is the name of the smoky effect for which da Vinci is famous? A. Fresco B. Dry brush C. Sfumato D. Tempera The correct answer is C. Da Vinci is famous for sfumato. Question 2. Where is da Vinci's Mona Lisa housed? A. Paris, France B. London, England C. New York, United States D, none of the above. If you answered A, you know that the Mona Lisa is at the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Question three, how old was da Vinci when he died? A, he was 60 years old. B, he was 67 years old. C, he was 80 years old. D, he was 95 years old. The correct answer is B. He died when he was 67 years old. What were the significant events of Rembrandt's early life? Rembrandt is another well-known portrait artist. Rembrandt van Rijn was born on July 15, 1606 in Leiden, Netherlands. He was the eighth child born to father Harmon and mother Nielsen. His father was a miller, and his mother was a baker's daughter. In 1620, at the age of 14, Rembrandt enrolled briefly at the University of Leiden, but left because he really wanted to study art. Rembrandt had two main art teachers. The first, Jacob Swanenberg, helped Rembrandt learn the fundamentals of painting. In 1624, Rembrandt went to Amsterdam to study for six months with his second art teacher, Peter Lustman, who was an important painter of that time. By the time Rembrandt returns to Leiden, he was known as an artist in his own right. Rembrandt had already developed a strong reputation for his beautiful portraits and paintings of biblical and historical scenes. Beginning in 1628, Rembrandt began to teach students of his own. 
1631, he began to do business with Hendrik Allenberg, an art dealer who ran a studio that commissioned portraits. A year later, Rembrandt moved to Amsterdam in order to work more closely with Allenberg. Rembrandt was beginning to have a great deal of success and was commissioned to do many portraits. Remember that at this time in history, the camera had yet to be invented. So people paid artists to paint pictures of their family members. During this period, Rembrandt painted many portraits of other people, but also painted several self-portraits. Let's review what we have learned so far about Rembrandt's early years. Question one, in what country was Rembrandt born? A, Italy, B, Netherlands, C, Belgium, D, Spain. The correct answer is B. Rembrandt was born in the Netherlands. Question two. During his early years, Rembrandt made a living painting what type of pictures? A, portraits. B, landscape. C, still life. D, B and C. If you answered A, you know that he painted portraits. Question three. During his early years, Rembrandt studied under how many art teachers? A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four. The correct answer is B. He had two main art teachers. What were the significant events of Rembrandt's later life? Rembrandt also began to paint large-scale works. He was especially interested in the contrast between light and dark in paintings, and was instrumental in developing this technique known as chiaroscuro. In 1636, Rembrandt painted The Blinding of Samson. He additionally painted other scenes from the Bible, including The Return of the Prodigal Son and The Visitation. Rembrandt also likes to paint landscapes. It is believed that his landscapes were an expression of his Protestant faith in God and his awe of nature. One famous landscape, the mill, has a dark and brooding tone that highlights the shapes of nature against the sky. However, even though he had been quite popular, his works began to go out of style in the 1630s. By this time, Rembrandt had grown accustomed to living a lavish lifestyle, but no longer had a great demand for his work. His personal life became filled not only with financial difficulties, but also with personal sadness after his wife died in 1642. Artistically, though, Rembrandt was still creating. It was during 1642 that he painted one of his most famous works, The Night Watch. This painting is more than 14 feet long and almost 12 feet high. It depicts Captain Banning Cock and 17 of the men in his militia. Rembrandt wanted to express the idea that all of the personalities in the painting had come together for a common purpose. Again, he used chiaroscuro to create the contrast of light and dark that revealed or hid some of the figures in the painting. Nightwatch is currently on display at the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. Rembrandt continued to struggle with financial and personal issues. However, he continued to work, and many believe some of Rembrandt's best work came from this later period. Another famous painting, Jewish Bride, was created during Rembrandt's later years. During this time, he also painted numerous self-portraits. Rembrandt died in 1669. It is believed that Rembrandt created more than 600 paintings during his lifetime. He is remembered for his incredible influence on other artists and for symbolizing the Dutch golden age of art. Ready to answer a few questions about Rembrandt's later years? Question one, Rembrandt painted which scenes from the Bible? A the blinding of Samson, B, the visitation, C, the prodigal son, D, 
all of the above. If you answered D, you know that Rembrandt painted each of those biblical scenes. Question two, what is the name of Rembrandt's famous painting about a military captain and his militia? A, Battlefield. B, The Crossing. C, Night Watch. D, Blue Dawn. If you answered C, you know that the painting is called Night Watch. Question three. It is believed that Rembrandt created about how many paintings during his lifetime? A, 100. B, 250. C, 400. D, 600. The correct answer is D. It is believed that Rembrandt painted more than 600 paintings during his lifetime. Thinking question. It is said that it took da Vinci about four years to paint the Mona Lisa. Why do you think it took him so long? 